Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And welcome back, everybody. Seeing as it's Monday, let's go ahead and check on that pollen count. It is going up, especially with the grass and tree pollen now at moderate counts. Continue to monitor the situation, but I suspect if you have allergies, it is because of that tree and grass pollen. Uh, cool day out there. Temperatures got up to 71 degrees. That's seven degrees below our average. Oh, hello. Uh, 102 is a record high set back in 1933. And uh, we look to a continued cool pattern here over the next few days. Uh, kind of a nice shot out there in Bismarck and Mandan. It's pretty pleasant. I think a lot of people maybe like these temperatures in the low 70s and not too hot. A wind out of the north right now at 10 miles per hour. And your dew point is at 45 degrees, so a little bit of moisture in the air. Uh, temperatures in the 60s and 70s throughout. Bismarck's actually one of the warm spots there at 71. The warm spot I see 72 down in Bowman. A lot of us are in the 60s and quite about a bit of cloud cover up towards the northeast. And yeah, there's a little bit of moisture in the air right now. You can see those dew points uh, in the 40s and some low 50s. We were obviously looking at more humidity late last week with some of those thunderstorms. Uh, cold front came through and is kind of cooling us off and giving us that drier air. And you can see the wind is out of the north right now from about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And uh, our areas of clouds and light sprinkles are coming down from the north. The reason uh, there's an area of low pressure, you can see it centered in the arrowhead there of Minnesota. So we're kind of getting on the back side of that flow a northerly flow as the air around that surface low spins counterclockwise. So maybe a few light sprinkles out there, mostly just east of Minot. Looks like even in Bowman County it might be just a stray shower kind of sneaking on in towards your neck of the woods. We could see a few isolated showers through the southwest part of our state overnight. But here we go in towards tomorrow morning. We'll see a cloud sticking around. Could be a few more isolated showers there uh, across the south southwest tomorrow morning as well, but high pressure from the surface will tend to drift on in towards the northern part of our state. That'll keep most of us dry through the day tomorrow, but we just can't rule out a few isolated sprinkles across the southern part of our state by tomorrow afternoon. Now you'll also notice this warm front starts to move on in from the west by early Wednesday morning. At ahead of that warm front, we're going to start to develop a southerly wind that will increase the humidity out there. You can see a lot of cloud cover. Showers will be uh, pretty prominent, and then by Wednesday afternoon, they kind of disappear there. But you could see a few stronger thunderstorms developing along this warm front by Wednesday evening. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center does have a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms on Wednesday afternoon and evening, primarily between Dickinson, Bismarck, up towards the Kildare area, and then points south. So that's something we will watch. Uh, other than that, though, our temperatures will remain cooler than average. Highs only in the 70s through the middle part of the week for Dickinson. A good chance for uh, rain and thunderstorms really through the next three days. Williston, you're looking at temperatures cooling off, but highs remaining in the 70s. It'll be breezy with uh, good chances for showers and thunderstorms. Your lows tonight, temperatures, it's going to be cool out there, only getting down into the uh, 40s and low 50s. And your highs tomorrow, temperatures remain below average, but some comfortable temperatures, highs in the 70s. Your seven-day forecast, well, it will remain below average. You see in Minot, highs only in the 60s by Wednesday. That's when that system really starts to roll on in with that warm front. Bismarck, highs only in the 60s as well. Extensive cloud cover could be some stronger storms out there. Instability will be kind of limited. Temperatures only in the 60s doesn't really make for a lot of energy for those storms to work with. So outside risk for severe, not looking at anything widespread. It'll be officially 60s. summer soon. Doesn't feel like it, I know. <laughs> no, it sure doesn't. Cool. Coming up next, it's 